The Democratic National Committee's 50-state strategy landed them in Brunswick Saturday. DNC Chair Jamie Harrison says this is his first time in Maine since taking this position, talking to voters about the harris Waltz presidential campaign. People are fired up here. They're ready to go. Also spreading the word today to vote for Harris, Democratic State Senator Maddie Daughtry. We have a history-making, unprecedented opportunity this November. Harris and Tim Walls will be there arm in arm with all of America's people to make sure that this country is bright uh, and that our future is even brighter. Former Republican state senator from Augusta, Roger Cates, is also in support for Harris and Waltz, saying he's looking out for the future of his four grandkids. I'm one of a growing number of Republicans who almost always vote for Republicans for president, but just can't this time. Cates calls former President Donald Trump a threat to our democracy, a reason he's supporting the other party's candidate. Is Kamala Harris as conservative as I'd like her to be? Absolutely not. But this is a binary choice. There's two people to vote for, and one of them being a threat to our democracy. Saturday's event comes just days after Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson visited Maine, unveiling a new campaign headquarters at the Auburn Mall. Republican leaders are focused on creating these HQs in swing districts across the country, like Maine's 2nd District. With less than 90 days until Election Day, both parties are looking to reach Maine voters now. Don't sit at home. Don't sit back. Don't think about, well, why isn't somebody else doing something? You have the power to do something. You have the power to go in and build a future that you want. In Brunswick, Asia Reed, CBS 13 News.